On this week's Solo Sunday News, we're going to talk about the first two entrants being confirmed for the Men's Royal Rumble match, a number 30 entry for the Women's Royal Rumble match being announced, a big surprise entrant being revealed for the Women's Royal Rumble match, another WWE star testing positive for COVID-19, a huge New Japan Pro Wrestling title match set for New Beginning USA, and the latest overnight SmackDown ratings. Hello everyone, I am Gareth from What Culture Wrestling, bringing you this incredible Royal Rumble edition of the Solo Sunday News. I am so jumping over joy, excited and ready to go for today. I can't wait, I bet you can't either, but we've got some news we need to attend to before we get anywhere near this Royal Rumble match. So first of all, the big story, obviously you've probably woken up to this morning, is that the first two entrants for the men's Royal Rumble match have been announced. And who are they? Little drum roll, it was announced on FS1, on WWE backstage, that the first two entrants for the men's Royal Rumble match are Randy Orton, wait for it, and Edge. So, okay, the first one you're probably a little bit underwhelmed by, but the second one, that's kind of cool because you got the big rivalry between those two over the last year or so. And, yeah, I know, it's a little bit heartbreaking to see this, this kind of things announced instead of having the big reveal the big shock happen on the night itself it is what it is it's the current environment that we're in right now with WWE they just like spoiling things to try and entice people into watching the rumble I'm still gonna watch it I'm still very giddy about this and Edge is returning what more do you want so as of this moment it does mean that when it comes to the men's Royal Rumble match we have this group of people already confirmed we've got Daniel Bryan Bobby Lashley AJ Styles Randy Orton Otis The Miz Jey Uso Cesaro Jeff Hardy, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, Shinsuke Nakamura, Big E, John Morrison, Sheamus Must Mustafa Ali, don't say his name wrong, Edge, King Corbin, Dominic Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, Braun Strowman, and nine other mystery entrants, which you've got to believe there's going to be some NXT people in there as well. But also on this Royal Rumble edition of WWE Backstage, this one-off edition of the show, we had... The announcement, well, it was announced at the end of a match, which was to decide the number 30 entrant in the Women's Royal Rumble. That was a very convoluted way of explaining this. But the number 30 entrant for the Royal Rumble in the women's side of things has been revealed. Uh, it was Tamina taking on Natalia, that big, highly anticipated matchup that I bet you were just frothing at the mouth to see. Uh, Natalia won that match. So she's now going to be coming in at number 30. And as of this moment, like I just did with the men's match, we'll confirm who is in the women's match. We've got Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, Peyton Royce, Shayna Baszler, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Natalia, obviously at number 30, and 16 mystery entrants. Obviously, they've not got Tamina on that list. I'm assuming she's probably going to be in there as well. So let's call it 15 mystery entrants. And when it comes to mystery entrants, one of them may have just been revealed by number 30 herself. Because, and I'd recommend turning away or at least skipping to the next news story if you don't like spoilers, because this could potentially be quite a biggie. Uh, Natalia has revealed on her Instagram, on like an Instagram story, that Trish Stratus may be taking part in the Women's Royal Rumble on tonight. On tonight, on Sunday is tonight. I love Sundays, I'm not tired. So obviously yesterday was the big night before the Royal Rumble and she was very excited, Natalia. She was on Instagram doing the stories and she put a picture of herself like next to Trish Stratus saying, can't wait for this Sunday whilst tagging Trish Stratus in it. So could be much ado about nothing. It could just be a big red herring. It could be Natalia's way of throwing us off the scent of Ronda Rousey because obviously she does train Ronda Rousey and a lot of people have been saying, oh, is she going to return to the Royal Rumble? We're not too sure. But as of this moment, that is a big kind of red flag or a big arrow pointing towards Trish Stratus going, are you going to be in this Rumble? I'd love to see her in the Rumble because Trish Stratus is just a megastar. Obviously, she turned up in the 2018 Royal Rumble. She was number 30 in that one, I believe. And then she had a last match again Charlotte Flair at SummerSlam. So we've not seen her since then. A lot of people will be really negative on the internet and just say, no, no, she's had the last match. Should pass it over to the, the newbies in the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble's different. You can have people come back and put other people over. Trish Stratus is a huge megastar. If she is in the match, she will put over somebody else like Bianca Belair. That's what we like. That's what we love. We'll see what happens. But as of this moment, she could be coming back. This is a little hint, a little rumor towards that direction. Okay, so for this next news story, you could probably agree it in with Royal Rumble news. I think that would be fair if you look at it on face value. But this is pretty much confirmed that a, a woman who was going to be in the Women's Royal Rumble will not be in that Royal Rumble now because she's tested positive for COVID-19. And we're talking, of course, about Mia Yim. Uh, she came out on Twitter and she was she was 
Debunking a rumor, this is really odd. So she was debunking a rumor going around this morning that she tested positive for COVID-19 and she swiftly shot that down. She said, nope, I've not got it. Like that's, that's not true. But then she had to post another thing later on, kind of going back on that because she tested positive later in the afternoon of the day where she'd already debunked it in the morning. It was just another crazy situation when it comes to this current crazy global situation, to be honest. Uh, she put on Twitter, she put, this morning at around 10.30 a.m., I debunked a rumor stating I was positive with COVID. For that, I must make a statement. I have been testing, I've been getting tested every week for several months now. All have been negatives. I was negative last week. I got tested this afternoon, less than an hour ago, and it came back positive. Please respect my pri uh, privacy. Please stay safe. Wash your hands and wear a mask. See you all soon. So listen to that advice from Mia Yim. Everybody around the world but that's that really sucks it does really suck because Mia Yim's been she's been a, one of the standouts in retribution I think if you can class many people as standouts in that group right now Mia Yim's a brilliant worker uh, it would have been great seeing her in that women's royal rumble as the reckoning with a big mask and kicking everyone's ass uh, but she was uh, it is worth noting she was on Monday Night Raw this past week she was at ringside with retribution and you've got to think because obviously she's the, the partner of Keith Lee. There's now rumors going around that, well, does this mean Keith Lee's not going to be in the Royal Rumble for the rest of it? Uh, we're not too sure at this point. Nothing's been confirmed. Uh, we'll have to probably wait and see tonight to just see if he is in the Rumble. If he's not in the Rumble, if he is, great. If he isn't, it is what it is. It's just the nature of this crazy, ever-changing scenario we're in. So, me and him, we hope you get well soon. All the best, and as always, next year you can come back and kick all the ass in the Royal Rumble 2022. Right, and taking a bit of a bit of a detour away from Royal Rumble news. I know it is Royal Rumble Day, so there's going to be an awful lot of Royal Rumble news. But we've got some New Japan Pro Wrestling news because anybody who's anybody who's been watching New Japan stuff over the last couple of weeks, and especially the most recent stuff that's been going on in New Japan Pro Wrestling, will know that John Moxley, former AEW World Champion John Moxley, turned up on a recent episode of Lions Break Contender on New Japan and he absolutely whooped Kenta's ass and it now looks like they're going to have a match going forward and it's been confirmed officially when that match is going to be going down. It's going to be at New Japan Pro Wrestling New Beginning USA and that will be going down on Friday, February 26th. So obviously John Moxley is the current US heavyweight champion, the IWGP United States heavyweight champion, let me correct myself there, and he's not been able to defend that belt, obviously because of the current crazy nutty situation that we've already mentioned in this video. So it's been a bit of a, a kind of suspended situation with that belt, no one's been able to challenge it and all the rest of it, but Kenta became the number one contender for that belt. He became the, the number one contender for that belt by winning last year's New Japan Japan Cup USA tournament. I'm just, I'm butchering this. I'm so sorry. But yeah, he won that tournament. So now obviously that's set up a match between these two. Finally, they're going to come to blows. And New Japan is pretty much hyping up this match as the most anticipated match in professional wrestling. If you just watch in isolation the, the way these two just went at it on, the other day on that contender show, whatever it was, they were just, oh, these guys, they lay everything in. They're super physical. It's what I like out of my wrestling. So keep your eyes on that match. I'm sure it's going to be a hell of fun time for everyone. Oh, and also it's worth noting that Mr. John Moxie has been announced to appear on New Japan Strong's Road to the New Beginning USA show next Friday. He's going to talk about this match with Kenta and give all his thoughts and feelings on it. So keep your eyes out for that too. And here we are, the moment you've all been waiting for. You don't care about Royal Rumble news. You don't care about John Moxie defending his US heavyweight championship that he's not defended in like a year. You don't care about all that. What you care about is the SmackDown overnight ratings. Did they go up? Did they go down? We got a slight down angle dab. It's always a dab. Always a dab. Yes, we did have a slight decrease in the overnight ratings and this is because Friday Night Smackdown drew an average of 2.228 million viewers overnight. This is all according to Show Buzz Daily. Uh, they say that Hour 1 drew 2.294 million viewers on average and then went down, uh, Hour 2, sorry, went down to 2.161 million viewers. So Smackdown also drew an average of 0.6 in the 18 to 49 demographic, which is 
is always super important and this was number one for the night so well, hey big big well done there to smackdown but if the number does hold up it would be a, a drop of 6.5 percent in viewership from last friday smackdown which drew an average of 2.383 million viewers with a 0.63 rating in the 18 to 49 demographic if you love stats like this obviously you're probably thinking hmm i wonder why the rating maybe dropped a little bit this week it's probably because monday night raw infected my show if you listen to the smackdown review we listen to the news that we had yesterday the, the news of me and phil i wasn't very happy because monday night raw came and just ruined we didn't ruin it completely but it just it seriously affected the quality of my beloved smackdown let's not do it again going forward keep your monday stuff on mondays keep your lovely friday stuff on friday so that has been your solo sunday news with myself gareth here from what culture wrestling let me know what you think of all the news stories in the comments section below it is royal rumble day so oh my goodness let me know what all your predictions are down there in that comment section follow myself on twitter at gmorgan04 follow everybody here at what culture at what culture wwe like the video share the video subscribe to everything that is what culture for all content on royal rumbles or maybe just other stuff that you like in the world we cover a lot of ground over here at what culture and most importantly above everything else i say it every single week but it's never not true enjoy yourself you've had a hell of a hard week we all have especially if you're here in the uk in this current lockdown 3.0 this is why i'm very hairy right now we don't have barbers open it's not a good sign but watch the royal rumble have all the fun drink loads of beer or coffee or just loads of water stay hydrated i will see you very very soon this has been the solo news Bye bye <laughs>